offense, they could end it if they can punch it into the end zone. A field goal, and the game will continue. First throw of overtime for Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As a fan of the NFL, for an opener, you can't ask for much more than this overtime in week one. I know it's hard to believe that some people may not have been watching our game, but I bet through social media they found out this one was snug and getting into overtime, and they flipped over here in a hurry. This is fantastic. If you're a fan of ball, you love these types of games. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener, and it's a first down. On first down, Breeze. That man again, it's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. Two minutes on the clock in overtime in a three point ball game. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Watch the block. Watch the block. Watch the block. Watch the block. He's the opposite, opposite, opposite. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. But it'll be second and goal. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Bree's one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guys set. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Bree's now on third and goal. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters what you <laughs> wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Saints, they needed overtime to do it, but they get the week one victory thanks to the field goal. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.